So I was thinking. Most of us are familiar with the old adage, old soldiers never die, they just fade away. This saying is grossly untrue on two accounts. First of all, soldiers do die and some in combat. Service members, young and old, men and women from every branch of military service die defending our country and our way of life. They fight in popular and unpopular wars in countries all over the world. They carry the American flag and the ideals and values for which it stands to every corner of the earth. They don't go for glory or honor or fame. They go because they're duly elected officials who represent the American people, including you and I, order them to place themselves in harm's way. They sacrifice family, friends, and sometimes their lives to serve our country. The New Testament records in the Gospel of John, greater love has no one than this, that someone laid down his life for his friends. Our fallen comrades have demonstrated that love, and that is what Memorial Day is all about. The second misconception of that phrase is that old soldiers just fade away. Our fallen comrades don't fade away, and they haven't faded away. In most cases, they were simply forgotten. One reason for this is that the true meaning of Memorial Day has been lost by the majority of the American people. To most Americans, Memorial Day is simply one of the federal holidays that bracket the summer season. Memorial Day for them marks the beginning of summer, the start of a family vacation, the, their first barbecue of the season, or a much needed long weekend. And for shopping malls and department stores, Memorial Day is an excuse for one or more spectacular sales events. Others confuse Memorial Day with Veterans Day or Armed Forces Day, and although it is highly appropriate to honor all of our veterans, living and dead, and to recognize their immeasurable contributions to our country, this is not the purpose of Memorial Day's remembrance. Memorial Day is an annual holiday to honor the armed service personnel killed in wars in the defense and service of our country. It was originally called Decoration Day, and is traditionally marked by parades, memorial speeches, and decorations of graves with flowers and flags. It was observed on May 30th, 1868, for the purpose of decorating the graves of the American Civil War dead, and was observed on May 30th, all the way up until 1971. The forerunner to Memorial Day was born on November 19th, 1863, when President Abraham Lincoln came to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania to help dedicate a new national cemetery to in, dedicate to the brave soldiers who died in the battle that serves as the turning point of the Civil War. I'd like to share a portion of his address. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field uh, as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that the nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this, but in a large sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us, the living, rather, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave their last full measure of devotion. That they here highly resolve that these men shall not have died in vain. That this nation under God 
shall have a new birth of freedom. And that government of the people, by the people, and for the people shall not perish from the earth. Ladies and gentlemen, it is fitting and proper that we gather to remember and honor the brave men and women who have given their lives that we might live in a free and prosperous United States of America. But in the same sense, it is impossible for us to do anything or say anything that can add to the honor that they so nobly earned. Rather, it is our solemn responsibility to remember them and to give grateful thanks that when their nation called, they answered with their very lives. You have the ability to remember and celebrate the brave men and women that went before and fell, lest we forget. Those are my thoughts. What are yours? This is Thoughts by Chat. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.